not many people want somebody that can fall asleep at a computer screen or can't read a book because he gets tired, um, can't engage with strangers very well. We've got Jaden and he's near almost nine and obviously dad can't teach him how to play football, can't run down the street. That's, that's the bit that bothers me, that you know, my wife and kids are off doing stuff and I'm sat in the car. I got a condition called Q fever, I inhaled dust out in Afghanistan which had got mites in it from livestock. I've got PTSD as well. I was a medic for 18 years and I thought well I've done first aid all my life or all my army career why not set it up as a business. Um, Health Heroes, um, fantastic charity, they helped me out with getting a, f a grant to buy all the equipment so that I wasn't going out and trying to just make do with stuff, they wanted me to go out and look as professional as I could. Um, I went to Pentilly Castle with Health for Heroes and again they were doing Tai Chi, they were doing relaxation, massages. I met a couple of the guys and they started doing a modelling club on a Friday. Obviously he's got a little bit of the old banter back that he misses. Time away from, you. Time away from me, yes. It could yeah. be a sailor or it could be an airman or it could be a marine and straight away you just instantly start bouncing off each other. I've got this condition for my life and Health for Heroes gives that lifelong support. But without the contribution from the public, it can't get going. And now I can tell all my mates I'm a model. Hey. Yeah, and a diva because you won't wear burgundy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's been brilliant and even the kids have loved it. Put at ease when we're doing it, it's just been so much fun. Yeah. I mean, all I, all I can say is thank you to, to Help For Heroes because, you know, I'd be in a really bad place in a sleeping bag somewhere if I was here at all. And I know that is down to my wife, my family yeah. and Help For Heroes.